need you. Yes, you. You watching? Why we need you as a data analyst? Yes, yes. I know. I've literally just told you the not so nice things about being a data analyst. But yeah, I'll be share with you the, oh, the juicy reason. reasons. The reasons why you know you should be a data analyst. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're just stopping by, you know what? You're most definitely welcome. If you're new here, I'm so glad to have you. So please ensure to click the subscribe button. It literally costs nothing. It costs less than zero cents. Zero cents to subscribe. So my, for my, also for my returning subscribers, I'm excited to have you here. And I'm glad to have you here with me. So yes, I know, I know, right? I have literally just blabbed about why you should not be or the not so nice things about being a data analyst. But yeah, I'm going to be sharing with you, you know, the juicy things, the reasons why, you know, you should be a data analyst. It has its advantage. Very good advantage as well too, and very lucrative advantage, right? So I'm going to be dishing to you the tea as to why you should also consider the data analyst career because it is literally very, very lucrative. Even not on, even aside the job, there are also other things that comes with even being a data analyst in all entirety. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the tea and the juice as to why you should actually will be a data analyst. Can we go ready now this is a field um that is very easy to break into right and then this can be done probably through certifications through free boot camps or even open source projects in my very first video on this channel i shared about how i actually made a career switch from talent management to data analytics right and now there are a lot of opportunities available for you to break into this space so let us start from even the different channels even available right so let's talk about even working on projects so data is literally everywhere whether you're screaming data from the web or even refer referencing websites such as Kaggle, Google Data Set um, Search, data.gov, datahub.io. I'll literally put a link below to all these websites, right? So now what this means is you you can start out by honing your skills using these hands-on projects, right? And the good thing is that for most of these data sets, they're actually available and they're like, most people have also worked on this project as well. Too. So when I even hit a roadblock, you're never alone, right? Because you always have answers everywhere. And also, you even have Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a very good resource for you to find answers. So even breaking into this field, it is literally easy to break into to start with. You're learning and working on projects and you're really never alone in all entirety, frankly speaking. So yes, working on projects could also even get you in and set you in the right uh, path in landing a job as a role as data analyst. So yes, we actually do need you in the space of data analytics because it is easy to break into. It is easy to literally break into. So I actually mentioned that it's easy to break into the field of data analytics, right? Another way is through hackathon and I highly recommend you actually do this. So hackathons are usually a one or two day event and sometimes it may span into months now this depending on I mean, what's at stake, right? So whether it's in its rewards or even the scope of projects, how long. And one thing a hackathon does for you is that aside from just even team building skills, you learn while working on the same tasks together. You also even learn new and innovative ways on how to even work on a certain part of the project or let's say the tax right or at hand so you might even experience a new coding language new techniques new industry tools and even leadership skills right that you haven't even had access to so literally your involvement can help you expand your skill sets relatively quickly and also increase your knowledge right as a data analyst so now working with other companies and even data analysts can also increase your awareness of the various skills and personalities in the industry and this can literally help you decide on a career path right or how to even navigate it now some really notable um hackathons include um i think um dana i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing well but it's spelled o-m-d-n-a i would try and i'll type that and also zindi as well too they really have good um hackathons that you can literally get into so even get your hands dirty and that's one easy way for you to even break into the field of data analytics so yes frankly speaking you are it's why we actually need this because then it is also very easy to even break into so why not even come in right to even get started another way is also through certifications right and it's also like an added advantage if you can bag one or two relevant data analytics certifications and now that's whether through google data analytics certifications or any prominent providers right i mean it's said that certifications literally make you eligible for a variety of job roles or even promotion and sort of like also defines your credibility and for those from a non-traditional background now these those who don't have a cs degree this is literally less investment compared to a college degree I mean, another way is through bootcamp right now if this bootcamp is credible it actually does help you 
um, land opportunities um, in your in a new role as data analyst. So in Nigeria, there are actually a couple, right, such as Dutton, and there are also other remote boot camps that are really good, like General Assembly, Master School, Springboards as well too, and. Um, Yes, that's also another way to also even break into this field as data analyst. Another reason why I should come into this field is because of the data analysis profession and employment. This is basically truly exploding, right? There's an increased demand for more data analysts, no jokes, like no jokes, guys. You probably have heard this a million and one times and it almost feels like it's a cliche, but that's because it's actually true. There's a high demand of data analysts as compared to its supply. And now this is because of um, the rise of big data, right? Um, analytics services and even professional skills as well too. Also, there's a high demand because most companies are literally investing in a lot in terms of big analytics to improve um, the company's efficiency and quality. So for example, here in Canada, Based on the job market prospects, Ontario, which is a province right in Canada, has very good pros prospects, even amongst any other provinces. And in a recent study, just two weeks ago, in the month of September, the World Economic Forum stated that the future of manufacturing is literally powered by data analytics. And do you even know why this is? Do you know why that can be this, the case? Now, this is even because data is even being churned and utilized, right, which provides um, use cases beyond even the production processes, even down to a single produce. So it tells you that it's being put in place such a way that from every step of the way to even the final produce, data analysis is being used. So what this means is regardless of whatever field you find yourself, whatever industry you find yourself, there's literally a space for you as a data analyst. So yes, we have more demand for this role as compared to even the number of internalists we do have right so please come into this space we need you <laughs> we need you in this space the other point is the ease to transition from an untraditional background to a data analyst role or even from even being a data analyst to exploring other fields such as data scientists analytics engineer data engineering you know and now this is actually true right so whether i'm coming from an untraditional background let me say for example being a banker a doctor a lawyer and even transitioning from even your current job role whether it be in the product marketing space front-end engineer or whatever field you find yourself right whether career you find yourself there are many success stories of people who has transitioned from even serving in the bar to landing the role as a data analyst and if they can then you can too or even others who have even transitioned within the organization from a customer service rep to a data analyst so whichever way it is actually very possible i mean another reason why i actually don't think of coming to this space as data analyst because it's actually possible for you to come in regardless of whatever career or background. so another reason is also the diverse opportunities in different industries right so from telecoms to fintech to gaming to manufacturing gosh there are diverse industries you can work in and i must say we need you we really do need you right the tech roles generally really has its cool advantages like unlimited pto stock options career projections and this just goes to tell you that um, regardless you're not stagnant in any role in the field as data analyst you can grow to be a data analyst lead right so even managing a group of people whether you want to be solely a contributor or a team lead whichever projections you want your career to grow to is literally up to you so it's quite flexible enough for you right so really do need it because every industry there's always an opening and everyone and there's always an opening and a role also available for a data analyst so yes we do want you and we need you so yeah that's also a very good reason why you should also be a data analyst because there are endless opportunities for you to come in here another reason is also because you're part of decision making in the company right so because you know that you're a data analyst you also know that um your data also provides insights to even making decisions in the company so it tells you that you also play a relevant role in ensuring that whatever decision that a company is looking to take is based on whatever report or analysis you've done right whether it be it's a future trend whether it be it's even in current trends as well too or even seeing predictions that may happen also in years or times to come or in months to come it shows that your your efforts are literally not are not even in vain because these are being actively used in careers even market segmentation wise for even let me say for example launching a new product so it tells you that your work is valuable right so that's also one reason why you should also explore this space as a data analyst and why you should also be a data analyst because whatever work you're carrying out is valuable to the job and also it's not just valuable to job alone but also valuable to the company in all entirety because they generally would use this to make these business decisions eventually so yes if you've just like considering your role as a data analyst you should 
think of doing that right about now because of this many reasons I'm giving and please do not even think twice about it because it's something worth even exploring to start with so yes we actually do need you as a determinist so let's just say I actually did save the best for the last right and now this is because of the different avenue that also comes in as a determinist so aside just a regular nine to five you also have the opportunity to also do other side projects as well too so you can either be through teaching you can either teach people and pay money for for this because this and bro your service are not free right so you they pay for this service that you actually do render to them right but also get extra revenue but also working on projects so sometimes you're in a community and then someone puts out um an opportunity for someone who is willing to come in and work on a project as a data analyst right and you're literally taxed with just maybe building a report or analyzing something and because of that effort you put in there you're, you're being paid a particular amount for whatever sense you did render right so that's also another way also in terms of consulting because you know that in the field of data analytics right your 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 reports literally are actionable insights so you also render consulting services to even those um, who really need it and this is even assigned to 9 to 5 so this all just shows you all entirety that regardless we really do need you you have an opportunity to make extra money extra source of income so if you've not started thinking about exploring this space as a data analyst i want to believe that with all these points i've listed out you're literally reconsidering and you're thinking of coming to this field as a data analyst so thank you so much guys for joining i am really glad that um you guys um learned one or two things and if you're still thinking about being a data analyst now is the time to actually come into this field as a data analyst so next time please ensure to like it costs nothing for you to like i think i'll start hammering this um to everyone person please ensure to like my videos for me it means a lot to me when you do like my videos um also subscribe please i want to see this channel grow and i want this channel grow with you as part of it so i sure to subscribe and also share comment i really want to know what your thoughts are so do you think it's is it worth it is it worth it to be a data analyst right what are your thoughts right and i think it's actually worth it as a person i have seen its values i've seen the opportunities that's brought to me i've seen the advantages as well too that's brought to me and i'm excited so let me know what your thoughts are whether you're also even thinking of continuing with a data analyst till next time ensure to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified when a new video comes up as well too right have a great and a productive day and week ahead bye guys